Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Julie and today we're going to review the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. I went to Ulta the other day and I picked it up and um, I've heard so many good reviews on it. I've seen it like going viral around TikTok and stuff and I got the shade 220 Natural Beige. Um, I think I paid like $11.99 for it, which is not that bad for a drugstore foundation and it claims like I've, you know, I it claims to do a lot of good stuff like it's oil free doesn't clog your pores it's like a seamless math matte finish it's breathable comfortable it's transfer resistant but up to a 24 hour wear it seems to be a really good foundation so i guess let's review it and let's try it out and i got the shade i think i already mentioned it shade 220 natural beige i normally am in in the shade natural beige so um hopefully it's a good match as you can see i have pimples scar well they're mostly scarring i have scarring and um i like a normal not normal i have a combination oily skin so yeah let's test it out I already moisturized my phone. I can be nice and plump. So, we are going to be putting it on our face. So, I guess let's shake. It doesn't say to shake or anything. So, okay, let's see what it looks like. Whoa. <laughs> that does look really thick. Uh, I've heard that it a little bit goes a long way. So, we are going to do that. It, it does look a little bit thick so i'm not a big fan on of uh, matte foundations but we'll see if i like it or not i don't know okay i'll do i'll do um move my hair whoa i wonder if this will even match my skin Whoa, that is pretty matte, actually. What do you guys think? Does it match my skin? I think it does. Pretty decent coverage. Um, not coverage. I think I got the right shade. And, I mean, as you can see, I had pimples and... It's pretty much covering them all. So... What does that tell you guys? That's a pretty good coverage. I don't normally add a lot of um, foundation under my eyes because I put concealer and then it starts looking cakey. But wow, this looks really good. Sorry guys, I have a mirror right underneath my ring light. So it looks really good actually. Like looks nice and soft obviously where i have um where i have pimples it looks a little a little bit like not patchy but it looks uh bumpy i guess like looks pretty rough right there but now let's do the other side fresh this is my third pump of this foundation I really like how it looks. It looks really nice and soft. And it just looks really good. Like, look. Acne? Where? Where is it? It looks really good, actually. zoom you guys a little bit closer my skin looks very like smooth looks very nice and i feel like my color match i color matched really good actually the foundation 220 well i normally always get 220 so i shouldn't be that surprised like girl but this 
I really like how it looks. It is a matte coverage. It's not matte matte because you can still see like a little bit shine like peeking through but it's like it's I guess like a soft matte like it's not that matte but it looks really good I really like the rest of my face and I'll show you guys the end results believe that she might have had a Mediterranean background now she's got a couple of distinguishing characteristics she's got two moles on her face one above her left eye and the other on her right cheek she also has this five and a half inch long scar on her left leg right above her heel and there's another scar on her left calf about two inches long so you would think i mean there's a lot of identifiable markers on this woman yeah those are like really specific things right now the other important okay guys so i'm done this is the final look what do you guys think it looks so pretty i love it even like up close in the mirror this looks so beautiful it's so like such a soft it still looks like your skin but matte but it's not even matte matte like it's like a soft matte and it looks really good I, I love it. I'm actually pretty impressed on how it looks because I never grab matte foundations because I hate when my face feels cakey and you don't feel cakey at all with this foundation. I will definitely be repurchasing another one once I finish this bottom about it. I really do like it. And yeah, so I'll see you guys on my next video.